Hello everybody and welcome to the Creative Arena. So I've seen people ask this question a lot and someone recently commented on one of my videos about the Elemental Loop Builder asking the same question if it was possible to filter products in the Elemental Loop Grid or Carousel by category and I decided to make this video to briefly explain how to go about achieving that. So without further delay, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the Elemental Flexbus container is set to active and the Elemental Nested element is also set to active. So we'll just come down to uh, Elemental Settings and then we'll go to the Features. Under the Features, you come down, you make sure that your Elemental Flexbus container is set to active and then you come down and make sure that the Nested element also is set to active. Once you've done that, you just go down and then you click on the Save Changes and you head back to your editing dashboard. So now I've already made a video about how to go about creating your um, elemental loop grid for products and also for the loop grid carousel as the loop carousel for, for product. Actually. So we'll be going over that. You can make our time and we'll go over that as well. So the next, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to add a container, this container. We're just going to add this container and under this container, we're just going to give it a padding uh, to the top 100 pixel and then to the bottom 100 pixels so that everything is seen clearly so the next thing we'll do is just click on this and then we'll now search for tabs search for tabs then we'll just drag and drop this tab here and then in this particular this tab we just on the first tab we're just going to click on this we're just going to click on this i'll we'll add this add another um, container in it and then we'll click on it and then we'll just search for loop search for loop so the first we're going to put in our container is the loop carousel so we just drag the loop carousel here and then we put that so we'll come down to the layout under the layout to we'll choose the template type we'll set it to a product we're already aware of that then we we'll choose the template mind you you need to make sure you've already designed your your loop if you've not done that you can just create one afresh it doesn't really matter but for the purpose of this we've already designed one so i'm just going to search for that mm -hmm product loop yeah this one so i'm just going to select it and it's going to load up as you can see it's already loaded up now the next thing we just go down to the query under the query we'll, go, we'll now set it to make sure it's set to latest product and then under that we'll come down to the include in the include you click on this plus icon here and you'll make sure it's set to times so now you now come down under the times and then you now add the type the name of the category you want to filter your product by so you just go back to your product categories your product categories you can see all the list of products whatever the product in particular whatever category in particular you want to make use of so i'm just going to make use of the clothing so i just copy that and then i'm going to come down here to the terms and i'm just going to type clothing you can actually paste it there so i'm just going to type it so you can see product category clothing once you select that it now loads all the product on that particular um, category so you can just come down under the settings and then you can set how your you want your, your look to look like and then once you've done that once you've done that you come to the navigation as well to show if you want arrows and the paginations and then for the pagination if you want the dot at the bottom to show I'm just gonna keep it to none let's just leave it at the arrow alone so once we've done that now click on the second tab now for the second time, we just do something similar. We add the container on the container. We now search for loop. loop. Now we drag in a loop grid here. Now for this, once we've done that, same as the other, we just set the uh, template type to product, and then we now search for the template now, which is the same template we'll be using. Product loop. Now this is the template, and then once that loads up, uh, we come down to the query under the query include uh, under the include we'll now click on this i will set it add set it to terms and then under the term option we'll now type the category we want to be shown in this tab so we'll go back to our product and the category we we'll put in there is the music category so we'll now go back here and just type the name of the category which is music which is music uh, yeah this is it and then we'll select it and as you can see it loads up for us that is that is pretty much it so now for the third category i'd rather for the third tab we we'll just do similar thing do similar stuff for the third category and then we'll now add a loop 
uh, we can do the same either we'll add a loop carousel or we'll add a loop grid it doesn't really matter it depends on what you want search for the, the name of your loop that you've already created and then you just add it you now head back to the query and under the term include by term and then for the term we just add another product category which is the posters which is a poster uh, we just type posters and yeah this is it and we select it and it loads all the product in that category for us and then you come down here under the pagination you just set it to none and voila you've gotten this you've done that and then you can just head back to your editing and your tab edit your tab now for the tab you can name the tab according to what all the products you know what you can do here this is just a tutorial showing you how to achieve that so we won't be doing anything fancy you can just name that name it uh, clothing the second tab i think the second tab is for music and then the third tab is for um posters so now that you've done that let's edit this and then give it uh this was the third yeah this is it now this looks better you can do the same for, for this as well do the same for this as well give it a pattern of 30 do the same for the poster yeah i think this is it okay for the clothing we haven't done that for the clothing so just do it for the clothing with the advanced settings and link this onto the top of 30. so this this looks pretty much it so depends on how what you want you can still edit the tab and how you want to go about it that is just it so that is pretty much it about how you can go about sort filtering products by category if you want you don't want if you don't want to use the tab to do this i'm just doing this to show you all at once you can create an individual page for each product and then just add it just as i've shown you in the video and it will still work out well for you so we've come to the end of this tutorial if you find this video helpful please do us a favor by giving a thumbs up and if you're new to our channel you can subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon so youtube notifies you when next i upload a new video so for now bye bye